Hey guys, welcome back to episode 19 of my Let's Play through Forsaken World. That's right, almost up to the big 2-0. Um, in this episode, we're going to continue our quest in Freedom Harbor, working on our main quests. Uh, which we'll pick up as soon as we talk to this guy. Uh, this is a timed quest. You have to go disarm bombs, which is why I didn't want to do it in the last episode. I do want to do it in this episode. Um, and before I continue on, let me just say I put out an update video um, yesterday on the 8th, and it would be really nice if you checked that out. That way you can see which days my different episodes are going to come out. Uh, days may be flip-flop, days may change if I start a new series such as the WoW Cataclysm, hopefully this coming week. All right. We have 15 minutes to the to disarm four blockbusters and two cascades. So let's start with the blockbusters because they're the closest. Um, sorry about the lag. I did just log in and I have not been up here yet to let everything load. But either way, we're going to be heading over here towards Freedom Quay. After a couple more of these quests, it's going to send us over to Sea of Oblivion to start our level 20 plus quests. And that should be interesting. Now those I'll probably speed up as best I can because, trust me, they are some of the most boring, uh, drawn out quests and they happen to be in the desert. <coughs> And we all know in just about every game, the desert is boring and tedious. Alright. So now these ones are in the water. And they do respawn very quickly, so you can hit one or two of them and just wait. I'm personally going to go for two of them. Well, as last I remember, they were quick respawning. I, I could be wrong on that one. Now, oh, there we go. So by the time you've swum back, uh, you can hit it again. Right, and after getting this blockbuster bomb, we're going to hit two cascade bombs. Um, and no, you cannot die underwater in this game. You cannot drown. Alright, let's step up here. Let's find the two Cascade Bombs. Cascade Bombs are going to be over on the big boat, the Floating Garden. Or I guess that may not be a boat. Sure looks like a boat. So it's probably these episodes that will get cut off a couple days if I do start up the WoW Cataclysm episodes, um, which I think would probably be fine, right? Alrighty. Here we are, so we're going to come in where the big old dragon is, and they're going to be right on either side of the platform here. Although they look the exact same, they clearly apparently are not. Alright, we'll hit this one, and that'll be that quest. <coughs> now we just go and return to Hugh Sutherland, and he's going to give us a Dawn Emblem, which will give us reputation. As well as decent experience. Almost 7k. Um, great reputation and some good money, and that will definitely level us. I mean, look how close we are. Wow. We're literally 7 XP away from level. 7! Can you believe that? Wow. <laughs> Now, I would have cut some of these short, but I did kind of just want to show you the first quest on working towards the Sea of Oblivion, that way you understand how that goes. A 
as well. Before we leave, we should probably do the alchemy daily quest thingy, just for some extra XP. And dungeon-wise, nothing else but our gear dungeons are open. <coughs> now let's stop off here. Oh no, that's right, we haven't got the Dawn Emblem yet, so let's just continue on. <laughs> Alright, final countdown. Bam! Level 27. The tide has turned. So now we gotta go talk to Watt the Drunkard, but we'll do that <coughs> after uh, we turn our Dawn Emblem in. Uh, Dawn Emblem, yes, confirm. <coughs> now then, let's see how our another daily oh well castle is going to be uh, out yeah that's okay all right uh, where is rep R so look at that we're already ranked three with Lionheart that's pretty good and then we have to go to Watt the drunkard before we do so I'm gonna go do the alchemy daily let me show you where Watt the drunkard is what the drunkard is over here on the tavern. So let's not head over there yet. I am going to head over to the uh, alchemy trainer and I will meet you over on uh, Toto's, is that a T? Tavern over in Freedom Quay. Alright, we're on the boat. We're going to go talk to Watt the drunkard. <coughs> We'll not bother with that other quest at this time. Let's see if Charlie has anything good for us. All right, well, let's just go through this and see what it wants us to do. Where is this person? Way over there. I'm not going to do it. Alright, what we have to do is go talk to Rita. Because that's our next quest. Rita is back over here by the magic fountain, kind of in the corner. <clears throat> I'm kind of bored of the hatred creator thing. While we're going over, why don't we change our title back to uh, Poriduck? <clears throat> At least it's green, huh? Um, well, I took a the, the break there from the video, I uh, I put my talent point in place, and I went and I learned my upgraded skill. <laughs> okay. Um, there we are. Now, uh, We've got to go talk to Hugh Sutherland again. And you remember where he is. All the way back in the Lionheart Fortress. What an awesome mount. Is that not an awesome mount? A level 59 nonetheless. Pretty cool. Alright, here we are in the Lionheart Fortress. And there's Hugh Sutherland. I'll leave right now, General. Alright, march on the sea. Okay. We got a job point. I mean, we can go learn to be a fisherman. Which is awesome. Um, that's going to come in handy, I think, sometime, maybe. Honestly, I'm not really sure. But, let's go... Uh, it should tell us who we go and talk to. Bottle is cold at the bottom of the sea. Tudor, Nieven, outside the northern gate of Freedom Harbor. So let's just go over there to the northern northern gate. There's a northern gate? Yes, there is. All right, we're going to go out the northern gate, guys, and uh, I'm going to take you over to the fishing trainer, and then we'll head over to Sea of Oblivion. 
All right, once you come out the, uh, the gate, he is just to the north over here on the other side, if I remember correctly. Yes, fishing tutor, Nieven. Nieven. Nieven? Eh. Job. Learn to be a fisherman. See you. Alright, we got fishing. And start fishing. Um. That's kind of useless. We're unable to fish in this area. Let me come over further and see if we can fish. So we're not able to fish here. Yeah, alright. Well, I don't know. I've never actually fished, to be completely honest. Oh. Oh. Okay. And we got a fish. So you don't even have to pick it up. It, it just does it. Okay, well that's odd. I don't really want the fish, so I'm going to just get rid of it. Oh, by the way, it looks like we got a jack and a chest. Let's go ahead and put that on. Did not notice. Alright, now we're going to go talk to Matthew. Now, Matthew, in Freedom Harbor, is back over here on Freedom Quay. And you see this little green icon, Teleporter Matthew. That's who we're going to. I will meet you over there. Alright, we are over here in Freedom Quay, and here's Teleporter Matthew. Alright, meeting Morin. So to do so, we have to go to the Sea of Oblivion, so we're going to talk to him. Teleportation. And we're going to go to Tower Push Town, Sea of Oblivion. It costs 10 copper, so extremely cheap. <clears throat> but it's not something you want to sit there and do constantly all day. You will run out of money eventually. Now the Sea of Oblivion, regardless of its name, or despite its name, is a desert. <clears throat> I'll show you the map. This is the big old map here. Emperor's Canyon is down here that we did. Um, and now we're up in Tower Push Town right here. Um, and here's our teleporter and this person floating. Now then, we want to go and meet Morn. The music changes a little bit. And here is Morn. Now, this place is going to overwhelm you with subquests. Just absolutely overwhelm you. This guy also has special ones. Now, these, you don't get any tips on how to do them. You just have to go do them, and you're on a timer. Um, I don't bother with those. Um, and he's got another one. What is rescue mission? So you're just looking out for yourself, I see. I don't think we want to do this one either, but we'll look. Yeah, yeah, I guess we do. Alright, while we're here, let's pick up another quest. <clears throat> uh, let's abandon this one because we're no longer there, and we're not going to bother with the life in the harbor for, for now. Um, we still have our guide if we want to pick it up and start again. Uh, now here's a banker. So if you need to bank, there's a guy right here to do so. Uh, it also seems like we've gotten a new weapon, a level 20. Even though ours is blue, is this one any better? <coughs> no, actually, it's not, so we're not going to change our weapon out. Alright, here's the track stone that you can teleport around the Sea of Oblivion with. And more subquests. It's also why I dumped another couple quests, because, while well, we're going to need... Here's your grocer if you need to make, uh drinks or food. Whoopsies. Misclicked there. Alright. Apparently there's a dancer here. And we have this person to start questing on. Or with. And a couple more of these quests, and they're just going to kind of keep tossing you back and forth until you have to go out. So 
So these both go to Amina, who is back over here. Okay. Alright, this goes to Sarah Lai. Which was that the woman back over here? I don't know. We'll see. It may just have been it was. Alright. The truth. Okay, now we have to go out. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven quests. Now where are the Badland Oxes? Oh, they're not too far. Um, you know what? Let's let's go out. Let's do these quests, and we'll end after we do all these quests. So the Badland Oxes. We'll start here. Are up and over here by. It's a Guild Island trackstone. Never actually seen that before. Right over here, just to the southeast. So we have to kill some, well, we have to kill eight of them. Now, they're level 20, so they're not going to be hard for us at all. Because, well, we're 27s. And there we are, and uh, we'll kill seven more, and I'll pick up at the end. Now, before I paused and I just killed a couple more, I wanted to show you there's a couple quests right next to here. There's the fume, which will take us back over to Matthew. Different Matthew. Weird named Matthew. And then there's Annie over here, standing by Left's tomb. Now this is a special one, so we're not going to bother with it. I just wanted to show you what that was. Alright, back to the Badland Oxes, and I'll pick up once they're dead. Alright, with that quest out of the way, let's go to another one. There, There's the Silver Ring, which is quite a distance. Let's see what's closer. This is Emperor's Canyon. We're not going to worry about the rescue mission yet. Uh, there's sandworms. Let's see about the hairpin. It's uh, inside one of the sandworms. Okay. So there's three together. Um, what's the glowing ore? I believe might be yeah, odd stones for Umar. So let's go do those. That's going to take us over just on the other side of Tower Push Town which is going to be right next to the sandworms. Let's see where the silver ring is. It's a little bit further outside of it, so you know what? Let's head over there, unless we cross Matthew. I believe Matthew is right here. Yes, that is Matthew. Um, so we'll pick up on that subquest after we do the rest of these. Let's not worry about that yet, otherwise we're going to get ourselves so tangled in quests. Those giant statues are relics of a glorious history. Losers are doomed to perish, but a champion's glory cannot live forever either. Kind of a cool, like, three-headed-looking sphinx going on with some cobras. Alright, we were heading over to get the silver ring. Now then, where was it? There it was. Head to the sand dunes northwest and kill the sandworms. Oh, this is also sandworms. So here we go to the sandworms, guys. There's plenty of them. They look kind of cool. They're a little weird. If you ever watched Tremors, they look very reminiscent of that. And now we just have to kill a ton of them until we get our, like, four or five quests done. But they're pretty easy to, to get a hold of. And very easy to miss, too, as a matter of fact. And they can hurt, so you may not want to pull as many as I did. <coughs> We did get four sandworm shells, four juice, and a hairpin. So that's a start. Um, I'm just going to keep killing these after I drink up and finish off the other like three, four quests here we have. And uh, then I'll pick up right where I left off 
uh, after killing him. Alright, I just finally got the silver ring. It took a few kills extra, but not too bad. And now here's our odd stones we need to pick up, the glowing ore. We need to grab ten of them. And as you can see, they're scattered all over, and they do respawn fairly quickly, just like other quest things you gotta pick up. So we'll pick up ten of these, and then I'll pick up directly after. Alright, we're just grabbing our tenth stone now. There we are. Look at all these quests complete. Now we're going to go back to Tower Push Town to continue on. Before we go and turn the one into Moran, let's turn him into everybody else. Start with you, and it looks like somebody's got something over here. Oh, he's got the other quest for us that uh, I thought we didn't need, I think. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, he wanted us to kill uh, 20 of these guys. Alright, well, we'll do that a little bit later. Uh, let's continue turning these in. Loring ore to Umar. That goes to Umar. Hairpin to Saralai. Morn for the Silver Ring. And Badland Ox to Kossel. Uh, who was way over in Freedom Harbor. Worm Armor. Alright, there's two more quests done. You had a quest we need to turn into you. He doesn't have one, does he? Alright. I was just looking at Elbert over there. Okay. Uh, now we just have this to turn into Morin. Like I said, leveling really starts to get slow, especially out here, because it's a little bit of a ways between quests, and uh, they don't give a ton of XP. So they, they will take a little while to get your level up. But you're supposed to start here around 20 anyway, so I mean, it, they're easier. Um, and then around 30, I'm not sure if you stay here or go to another zone or something. I've, I've not gotten to, to those quests yet on my other guy. All right. Now he wants us to go to Teemer, who is right here, so let's go ahead and just talk to him real quick. And she's got a quest for us. Tower Push Chief Teemer. Alright, and then go back to more. And so like I said, you know, these are just going to kind of throw you back and forth a bit. But that's alright. Now let's look at the map, see if there is a zone for 30. Um, perhaps the Sleeping Jungle. Or maybe that's for 40. Because I've, I've never been there. Alright, let's turn this in. And now that wants us to go to Matthew, which will start our next set of quests. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Please be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. In our next video, we will go to Matthew and we will start that whole chain of quests, uh, which will take us all around this area in the center of the map. Um, but we did pretty good. We got into a brand new zone today, guys. We hit our level. Um, and I'll probably start speeding it up from here on. Again, thanks for watching. If you haven't already checked it out, check out my release schedule, which I put up an update video of it yesterday. Um, starting this next week, however, it may change depending on what I see fit. Um, I may just add, like, WoW Cataclysm, let's play through it, uh, you know, and add, add, uh, add that on to my other videos, or I may flip the schedule around, just depending on how my time goes and, and what happens. So uh, if the schedule does change, I'll try to leave a uh, bulletin or leave something up on my uh, YouTube page that says what my schedule is. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next episode.